Hi there, I am Gemma Leggett. I work with Remax Custom and I'm a real estate agent. I'm here today with Laura Morris, who is a certified Feng Shui consultant and teacher. And she's also the author of Creating Change 27 Feng Shui Design Project to Boost the Energy in Your Home. So she's going to give us three tips today, very simple and quick, for us to be able to start shifting the energy in our home. So hi Laura, how are you? Thank you, thank you for having me. Good, good. So. Can you please tell us a little bit more about Feng Shui? Yeah, um, well, it's an ancient practice. It's right. been around for about 4,000 years. Right. Uh, over the decades, centuries, et cetera, it has shifted forms and has different ways of practicing. But essentially, when you come down to it, it's really about energy. Right. And it's about how the energy of an environment can impact right. your own energy. Right. So what I do is I help to create spaces that support that energy. All right. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to talk about... Um, I'm going to give you three tips, as you mentioned, Yes. and we're going to start in the entryway. The entryway, so, yeah. okay. And why the entryway? Because it's one of the most important spots in your home. Your front right. door and your entryway is really key Right. because it is the first thing you see when you get home, the last thing you see before you leave to go off to work, and you really want to make sure it's supportive. Absolutely. So in this uh, area here, the it's set up really nicely because when you get home, it's beautiful, so you love it, it greets you, but also it does a couple of other things. It expands the energy. Mirrors are great. They open up the energy and they greet that energy so it's more right, positive and right. boosts it. And there's plant as well, which boosts the energy. Candles, the Buddha, and this lovely little sign. So, you know, even if you just added like one of those things, a mirror, a piece of art, and a plant, you'd be off to the you races. And it would be great because it's lovely and it really boosts the energy when you come in. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is going to be in the dining room. So we can go over there next. Let's go. So we're now in the dining room. Tell us the tip number two. Yes, tip number two is really simple. You find your kitchen table or your dining room table or the center of the home and find the center of it and really adding in the color yellow. Right. I know it sounds weird, it sounds different, but these lemons here do the trick. Um, and what it does is it really, it works with the center and the center is very important in feng shui. Center of a room, center of a table. Yellow really does or lemon does? Yellow. Yellow. The yellow. So it has to be yellow. It has to be yellow right. because it represents a certain element right. within feng shui and a certain principle. And it's all about health, grounding, well-being. And so when you get this little kiss of yellow on a table in right. the center of your table or you know in the center of your home with flowers or a yellow pot, that really sort of grounds you down right. and pulls all of the energy together and gives you that sense of well-being. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Let's go for tip number three. Perfect. We're now in the kitchen. Tip number three, what do we need to know? Well, the kitchen's a really important spot in right. feng shui, specifically the stove. So we're here at the stove because we're going to talk about why it's important. Um, it is the center of wealth in the home. So there, it's where you cook all your food uh, historically, and it, the significance is uh, that this is where you spent all the time and money to stoke the fire. Right. So you had to really take care of it and make sure that it was working because if your flame went out or the stove wasn't functioning or your fire wasn't functioning, it would deplete the wealth of the home. So this is right. actually a very, very important symbol in feng shui, the stove is directly connected with wealth and prosperity. With wealth? Yeah. Wow, that is pretty important. It's pretty important, yeah. So the tip I'm going to give you guys is to clean it. And I know that sounds really boring, but it's like really cleaning your stove, that's it. That would be how to maximize our yeah. wealth? To well, clean it? It would, because Amazing. you're taking care of your stove. Because a lot of people, A, first of all, the elements, there might be something broken. It doesn't right. matter if it's gas or ceramic. Okay. It does not matter. Okay. Just make sure it's functioning well right. and that it's clean. And when you clean it, I'm going to say use a non-toxic cleaner and do it with intention. So in mm -hmm. my book, I actually walk you through step by step. And I actually give you a recipe for a great extra boost cleaner. Yes. Uh, and you'll just give it clean with intention, knowing that when you do it, you really want to improve your wealth and your resources. And you're doing it for a reason. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. So I'm here with Laura Morris. And Laura, tell us a little bit more about how we find your book and how do we find you? Uh, MorrisFengShui.com is my website. My book is available on Amazon. It's also on my site. And I have lots of courses and lots of other free videos and great stuff there. So but thanks, thank you for having me. Thank you very yeah. much for coming. Thanks. Thank you guys. Talk to you soon.